now we are going to see a new update. Now things will get more wild and violent. Because there is very important news with that we'll cover now. Because now people will suffer from the levels of high inflation that we are seeing now. This is impacting on the This is impacting on the all the pension funds, retirement funds that have been destroyed now. So Europe is joining all the levels of Latin America. Uh, we are going to see now a new update on precious metals and all that happened this week. We have been alerting that the price of silver and price of precious metal were repeating the same pattern that it was correct, uh, it proved to be correct, that was in 2014, the same pattern, and uh, we warned in advance that that was about to happen, and today with a, a better, a bit more stronger price for all the, let me go down the music now, um, we have the price of silver going down, gold going down, and the also the price of crude oil going up uh, very mysteriously so we are going to talk about that and also we are going to talk about Bitcoin so if you see now the price of silver and the price of gold now we are showing you the price of gold and uh, you will see that we have the top in the area of 1730 um, we started to go down and we ended the week below the important psychological level of 1700 this is very important because the goal likes round numbers very like round numbers so from now we are going to see more pain ahead and more volatility and the price of silver created the, a fake rally that we measured that that and we found the same pattern that was in 2014 and uh, we made a video last week that the fake silver short squeeze was again showing some enthusiasm in the silver community and later bam, we got hit with a tiny correction not, not right big but the people was expecting going higher and then we get much lower and in a very delicate situation because the price of silver now is ending with a big red candle with volume warning that we could go back all the way to 1950 level and eventually 19 that's the short term for gold and silver looks bullish bearish and uh, bitcoin we won in advance that we were seeing a bitcoin death bubble and I was expecting between August and September for Bitcoin a complete exit from this endless range going nowhere. Um, if you check the price of the Nasdaq, so Bitcoin is behaving just like the Nasdaq. This is Bitcoin and see this is the Nasdaq exchange. So whoever is controlling the price of Bitcoin it moves exactly like a risk on chip a risk on strategy following the nasdaq index so wherever nasdaq index go it looks like bitcoin is following like a dead asset so bitcoin close the end of the week also like a risk of strategy going basically nowhere so we have to wait my one of my most favorite author Michael Burry still believes pains ahead because valuations are still very high in lots of stocks in the United States so that that's correct there is more pain ahead at the same time we are seeing a massive explosion in the Baltic dry index this is a weekly chart this is the price of moving things dry bulk uh, it's an average of multiple international routes and uh, you see that we keep going up while the Federal Reserve keeps moving 
into the right eye. This is saying I don't care. So this is the phase now. There will be war now. The war against inflation and there will be civil casualties from now. Because this is a financial war for survival. So we have the crash of the Japanese yen die we euro in this week trying to recover and to, to go back to parity and it was solo at the end of the week and it was punished the data that came today was that the united states was the job market was holding according to the statistics and that means that the federal reserve will keep pushing ahead with more and more increasing interest rates but this is extremely bad news for those that are following risk on games. So there will be civil casualties now. And there will be war. So I made a new friend this week, a very famous tweet expert, Twitter expert. Uh, he was claiming a warning that was an explosion in the all the prices of energy. So Aramco oil, Saudi Arabia, increased the price of crude oil from November. And this was all the way, crude oil going all the way up. Like ignoring all the deflationary pressure that the Federal Reserve was creating. Is this, is this, is this a geopolitical story? I don't know. Maybe it's related with Russia and playing with Saudi Arabia. Or maybe it's that Saudi Arabia wants more USD, more dollars for the crude oil because they understand inflation. So they lower, lower the production this week and they're saying from now you have to pay more. So that's the news was that Biden was upset with that and they say, hey, what are you doing with us? And that was the news. So the price of crude oil went up all the way and all, all the whole day on the whole Friday and it closed around 93. So it closed very strong, very strong signal for crude oil and they expect to go higher. So the September gain that affirms, this was the news, the September shop gains affirm that the Fed has a long way to go in inflation fight. So I've been showing you the chart, this chart, this at the beginning of March, it was around 4%, 4, 550, 4.85%. That's the expected number that the market believe the Fed will go there. So there are shocks after shocks in interest rates. So it means that the market is discovering or maybe those who control the interest rates and are allowing the market to discover in tiny installments, in tiny steps. Uh, this is going to create a shock after a shock. Most likely the 5% level will not be enough to control inflation. That's what the market still don't understand. And that's a risk. Will the Fed control massive inflation coming with only a 4-5% rate? The story says that we have been warning that in the past that the Federal Reserve needed above 5% above this level. To control inflation in the past so most likely the market will understand and more and again and again that this curve will continue to shift higher and higher so the markets this is the fed chart tools uh, this is the tool that you used to know the odds of the levels of interest rates by the professional traders and professional traders believe that by March of 2023, there is a 48% odds that the interest rates will be between 450 and 450 or 75. That means that there is also a risk, a 30% risk that we will go above the maximum, the maximum pain that the markets believe the, the level so high will be for the interest rates so there is more pain ahead and the market is starting to believe that five percent will not be enough and it really started to look that it won't be enough and when the moment the market understands that someone somebody will get pain will get pain maybe the markets or maybe the fed officials 
and the central bankers they will be paying and they will they will be scared and they will be civilian casualties because they will need they will start to ask for guilty people that's most likely the i what will believe that will happen with the psychology of the markets in the future they will come for guilty people they will demand someone will be guilty so this is a very famous uh, italian twitter guy uh, he was warning that the price of diesel prices in europe exploded like 30 percent week over week that is pain week over week explosion the name of this important italian trader alessio urban lots of followers and, and this is very solid and interesting news so you should follow him a 30 percent of the price of low low sulfur gasoil went higher this week so this is an explosion a diesel shortage um, I don't believe that will this will be easy to control with a four or five percent interest rate unless there are geopolitical decisions to stop the levels here. So I confirm the price and check that same tweet in the trading view and you will see that this is the one of the most important tweets. Bank of America says Marshall calls will show up once S&P breaks 300, 3600 3, forcing liquidation. So there was a rumor that the Vatican was calling all their assets and there was a clear order on August 23 and we warned in advance that that was happening. And later we knew there were rumors that they were trading with Credit Suisse, never confirmed that. I, I made a documentary about the Vatican Bank finances and then we saw that all the rumors that the Vatican Bank was with Credit Suisse, it came to reality that there was trouble in the Credit Suisse and they were forced to sell the investment bank unit and that was quite stressing but we are only not above, not in the place we should be in the level of interest rates. So more pain ahead, and maybe the possibility of financial black swans will increase from now. There will be pain. So very important news. Uh, crude oil, crude oil recorded the biggest weekly gain since March on supply fears and strokes U.S. economic data. This is like. Panic. This is like a terror movie for the Federal Reserve. They keep increasing rates. They are half the way, and now there is an explosion put in the energy prices. So they will hit the panic button very soon. They should be worried by now. They should be insulting the markets and insulting the price of crude oil because this will bring more inflation and more pain ahead. This is a bad week for the Federal Reserve, or maybe there will be political pressures on them for sure. So the diesel crack, I was talking about the diesel crack spread touched the highest level. So where is the pivot? The market was asking for the pivot. The pivot is like the, a dot in the curve of the interest rate that say, well, hey, the federal sale will go up to this level. So far, the traders are starting to sus be, get suspicion that there is no pivot. And nobody knows how high the interest rates could go from now. So there will be civilian casualties. Checking the price back to the price of gold and silver. Let me move back. And it really looks that I, I detected a very important pattern that were me in advance. And I have seen this pattern. It's like an AI pattern that is controlled by an artificial intelligence for the symmetry for the very symmetrical angle but i haven't tested that so i every time i i found this pattern we have a very important movement for gold and silver the next week so i'm expecting the price of silver going lower next week i may be wrong but i believe that now all the traders are thinking again in the level of 1640 6060 coming 
um, all the, the these levels around here and the test will be this area 1675 first and then 6040 should we pass this level the traders are looking to this area here and they will punish in the HR session to test immediately the coming the next support which is around this level here this pivot here which showing that we should test all the way back to 1680 1680 in the first test for the Asian session next week so stay close to the price of gold because as soon as they come uh, all the Asian European will be fighting and dropping down the price of gold all the way to this level and silver will follow the thing is that going back to Bitcoin I'm Bitcoin follow with the Nasdaq and Michael Burry said hey there is always still overvaluation in a lot of companies and that was last week so it means that Bitcoin will go to the to the lower level of this band that was trapped for three complete months so Bitcoin is moving like a risk on like a risk on asset and going nowhere so far there is more pain ahead it's a very very bad week for the markets and for the Federal Reserve the, they keep in going into they keep going into direct hikes there is increasing its recession risk the in, U, uh, Ukraine and Russia instead of coming to peace they want preemptive strikes they will prefer nuclear wars both sides uh, there is increasing geopolitical risk and energy prices explode in the middle so the, there is, will be panic from now from the there will be panic on the central bank levels on all the street levels but there will be panic so most likely panic is translated into increasing volatility for the charts that's it so the risk on game starts on monday thank you very much